Hi there, welcome back, Sandy here, and today I am joining Alex Siberia Designs, the one year anniversary release hop and giveaway. And as you can see, there are a ton of prizes. So as you hop along, don't forget to leave a comment. That's how you win a prize. In today's video, I'm going to be playing with the Thin Stripes cover plate. This is a new release product, and we're going to be making these pretty little cards. I'm going to show you how to make these awesome backgrounds with this new die. There are some coordinating products that go along with this as well. The Celebration Sentiment Stamp Set. These are all attached, so you stamp once, you die cut once, and you get 22 sentiments. That's pretty cool. There's also a hot plate, does the same thing. Foil once, die cut once, get 22 sentiments. Pretty cool. I'm also going to be using the new It's Your Birthday Hot Foil and Die Set in today's cards. Let's start with the stamp set. I have a half a piece of cardstock, um, five and a half by eight and a half in my Misty. I'm going to add the stamp to the lid. I'm going to say stamp set all the way through this because <laughs> it is attached. It's all one thing. Okay, so I have gotten rid of any static. I am inking up the stamp with Versamark and I'm going to be gold embossing. I'm going to stamp this a couple of times because it's a new stamp so we want to break it in a little bit so we get good coverage. Okay, taking it out of here. Close my misty lid so that I don't get embossing powder inside it on my sticky mat and I'm going to cover this entire thing with the fine gold embossing powder and then I'm going to heat set it. So I'm just heating up my gun and I'm going to heat set this. Uh, I'm not gonna waste a whole bunch of time on this. You probably know how to do it. Off camera, I did a couple more uh, just for another project that I'm working on. And I'm just going to show you how you line up the Thin Stripes cover plate. And I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine. Once I get all the plates straight, run it through once. This cuts like butter, let me tell you. Look at that, they just all peel and fall right out of there. And there you go. That's how fast it is to make 22, count them, sentiments. Okay, so we need some sticky for what we're going to be doing today. So here are the four that I like to use, and I'm just showing you that I cut them a little bit bigger than the actual die. So Sizzix has adhesive sheets. They're six by six. There's 10 sheets in a package, and they're nice and sticky. Uh, Simon Says Stamps has a couple. The first one is micro dot sheets, eight and a half by 11. You get eight sheets in this package. And the next set, also from Simon, Terrific Adhesive Sheets, eight and a half by 11. You get five sheets. I really like these ones. They're really nice and sticky and they're a little bit thicker. And then finally, we have all to new double-sided adhesive sheets. They're eight by 12 and there's 10 sheets in a package. And I am using a little bit of everything today. I'm going to start off with the all to new one. And I'm just showing you, you need, you might need a couple of pokey things because these things are super sticky and you get them stuck all over your fingers. So you need to be able to remove them and peel them off. Sometimes you put a piece of paper on crooked and you want to straighten it out. You need something sharp to get underneath the cardstock to peel it back. You also need fingernails to take the top coat off. And I'll apologize for my fingernails. I was canning tomatoes this morning and so my fingernails are a little bit on the orange side. So you see that I'm partially peeling back the cover plate and that is so that I'm not exposing the entire sheet of sticky. It gives me something to hold on to if I need to without having the sticky surface. And you see that I have pre-cut a whole bunch of different colors. I've got a rainbow of cardstock there and I am just working my way through them, adding them starting at the bottom and I'm using my pokey tool to pick it up and straighten it out a little bit. All right, so moving on to the next green and you're just going to work your way across adding each of the colors to the sticky surface. This is sticky on both sides, so you only want to peel one side off to start with, and then the second side you're going to peel if you want and stick down to your paper. I prefer to leave it on and add adhesive to the back because it adds an extra little bit of um, strength to what I'm building for my card front, especially if you're going to be die cutting it, uh, which I will on one of the cards. Okay, so just working my way up I'm going to only do this once and then I'll show you some other samples. Now I'm reversing and going back down in my colors. So two pinks, 
working my way through. You'll see that I'm kind of looking at some of them. The paper that I'm using is basil, and of course it's got a design on one side, and what I'm doing is I'm using the smooth side uh, for my cards today for my backgrounds. So that's why I keep flicking them around and looking at them, just in case I, <laughs> I was going a little ballistic. But hey, it's early, you never know. Okay, so back into the teals and then finishing up with my dark greens. And this is a really nice, fast and easy way to create a beautiful background for your cards. Gives lots of interest and lots of color, making them bright and happy. Okay, there we go. There's one finished. Isn't it pretty? Next up, here's another one that I made using some of those gold embossed sentiments. So that's another background. I'm just going to quickly walk you through another option. I'm putting a piece of cardstock down. That's a card front, four and a quarter by five and a half, uh, using my magnets to hold it onto my glass board. And this time I'm going to use glue and I'm just going to put a little rainbow across the center of this card using five different colors. Okay, and so this could be a card front. You could make it into a tag. Uh, it's just a nice, quick, easy way to add a whole bunch of color to an otherwise white background um, to give you that little wow factor in your cards. And as you can see, it's really quick and easy to do, especially if you have all of these colors already cut out. And really, it only took me about 10 minutes to cut all these rainbow colors out. The dye's pretty fabulous. And of course, I can save my leftovers for future cards. So there we go. There's a nice, easy way to make a card front. Here's another one done with all kind of pinks and greens. And there's one with blues and greens. There's one I did on an angle with the sentiments. And then there's the first one that I was playing with. So the other thing you want to do is, as I said before, I make these pieces, the sticky pieces, a little bit bigger than I need them. Use some nonstick scissors and peel off the pieces that you don't need anymore. Here's three cards that I made with some of the backgrounds and just showing you the little bits. I added uh, gold foil when I did the It's Your Birthday foil plate for that one. And this one is done with some vellum roses and I'll do a breakdown in just a minute here. The third one is a shaker card. And uh, for the two of them, I used the cheerful pandas and dies, which are adorable. And It's Your Birthday hot foil plate for the sentiment on the first one. The panda set comes with matching dies and super easy. Just stamp them in black and then add a little bit of color with the highlights. And I'll share the markers that I used just at the end of this. And of course the background is created with the thin stripes cover plate. For card number two, again, the background was done with the stripes cover plate. The sentiment is from the For You Sentiments Hot Foil Plate, and there is also a matching set of dies, and there's also a coordinating stamp set that goes with that one as well, also released this month. The two flowers are from the Floral Balloon Extravaganza, and again, there is a matching die, and I white emboss those on um, vellum. The third one I made into a shaker card. So I used a circle die just to cut out the circle, added some foam tape to the back to build it up so I could put my sequins inside. And I have a pretty little rainbow striped circle left over for something else. Again, I'm using the cheerful pandas and the sentiment is it's your birthday, also hot foiled. Copic colors, I used RV02 for the cheeks. For the pinks, I used RV17, 19 and 55. And that's for a hat and a crown. For the teals, BG11, 13, and 49, my three favorite shades of teal, balloon and party hat for these guys. And for the yellows, again for a crown and some of the butterflies, Y11, Y15, and Y19. And I used N1 and N0 for shadows at the bottom of the faces of the little pandas. Hey, that's it. That's my share today. I have linked everything underneath this video, including the link to the previous and the next person in the blog hop, as well as a link over to my blog where you can get a detailed description of today's cards, a list of everything that I used. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing. And until next time, toodles.